Hello and welcome to Infinity. Here's a photo taken from a moving train. Um, it's kind of a nice scene there and there's a bit of sunlight coming through here, a bit of light coming down through here. So there's sort of the beginnings of something here but I wonder what we can do with it. So this is a raw file, uh, always taken raw. So all I'm going to do here is go to the shadows and highlights here and trying to bring up a little bit of this and kind of just turn this down a bit. So with the shadows, just turn that up a bit. It's not good. Looks a little bit manky at the moment. Don't worry, we'll fix that later. Just to get a bit more of the detail out of this. And highlights. In fact, you can turn that all the way down so that it's just getting back a little bit of this stuff here. See, this is rather strange up here. The histogram is all on the left hand side. Again, we'll fix that later. Let's just do it with those two for now. So if I hit develop, it's going to switch to the photo persona. And then we'll start doing some more things with it. To fix this, let's start with the levels. So I go to adjustment, levels. And let's uh, bring this one up here. Here we go. And uh, what will appear at some time here sometimes takes a peer. The histogram should appear on here. But in the meantime, I can start pulling down the white. See what happens here and see what's happening. Here we go. Ooh, burn out there. See, that's kind of... So what we're, we're happening here, so the histogram should appear here, but it'll look like this. So we're pulling the white down to meet this somewhere. I can see the effect. So it's just bringing out a bit more of that detail there. Now that looks maybe a little bit you know, more potential in that. We can always come back and play with that again. Um, what I'll do as well, I'll straighten these trees up. So I'm going to control and roll the mouse to zoom out a little bit so I can just see the edge. Because I'm going to go down here to the perspective tool. And with this, I don't actually need these lines. I'm going to turn off the show grid. It can be confusing sometimes. And to straighten this up, I'm just going to pull this corner because it's fine this side. So I'll pull this corner out sideways. Oops, what's happening? It's, nothing's happening. This is a common thing that happens. It's because we haven't got the background layer selected. Let's do that again. There we go. And we pull it out until the trees straighten up till they're back parallel to the side of the picture. We could use a guideline or something, but that's good enough. And so control zero to see it all again. A lot of the pictures down here, so let's crop in to see just more of what we want. Let's come in, let's leave those trees at the edge here a bit. We don't need quite so much sky. Let's bring it down until there's something interesting happening before it. Don't need quite so much foreground here. So let's bring kind of this up here a bit. Want that mountain there, that's nice. Maybe we'll bring this in a little bit to give, give it a come back to those trees. There we go. That's it until the light's just coming in here. That'll do. Right, <clears throat> so we're getting a lot more of the action going on here. Now then, what I'm going to do is to put in a... Click on the adjustments there and go to the lens filter. And what this gives me... With the filter car here. Orange is good. If I click on that I can always change the colour and see what that looks like. Actually I need to turn it up die first so let's click on here. Just turn it right up so we can see it. Ooh that's a rather uh, orangey colour. bit too yellow isn't it? But we can play around with this. What does this look like? Go a little bit into the red for it. And we just move around till we like what we see. Yeah, but that, that's not bad. So we've got some orange down here, a bit of red up into the cloud. That's nice. And we can play around with this. Turn it down or up. Actually, I like it quite all the way up. If 
we play with the that one, oh, that's a fairly strong. I think I'll leave it off, but it's, it's not a bad effect there, is it? You might want to keep that. So how about this? This is looking great already, isn't it? What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a, a filter down here to sort of grid, grid, graduate that. So what I'm going to do is go to add pixel layer, which initially has got nothing in it. I'll just put it up to the top. There we go. And now I want to put darken it down here. So I click over here on the left on the gradient tool. And I want this to be linear. And it tends to put that up there. So let's where the two ends is. Let's bring this one up here. Here we go. So you drag the ends out. So it's going to be a straight line down here. But it's entirely wrong at the moment. So I click on that one. Then click on the colours here. Now this is the this one here. So I want to make that one black. So drag down there so that's black. The other one, click there so that gets a little bit bigger so we know on that. I just want to make that transparent. So I go to the opacity here, just make that zero. There we go. And <coughs> what we see is this appearing here. There we go. That's nudged it down. So now we've got a black, dark thing coming down. We'll take it down to maybe the top of the trees there. We're going to change the blend mode of that. See if where it says normal there. We click on that and we'll go down to overlay. There we go. That's less of an effect. Bit dark at the top here, isn't it? So we'll take the opacity here and we'll turn that down a bit. There we go. That looks better, isn't it? But it's just sort of darkening the skies from the top. And I want to do a little bit of the bottom as well. So rather than do all that again, I'll take this layer and hit Control J, which puts another copy on top. It's also a quick way of enhancing this. Now I want to turn this around, so I'm going to go to Arrange and rotate 90 degrees. Oops, I meant rotate 100. Do I rotate 90 degrees again? Could have done 180 and I flip which looks a bit funny, but if I click on this one now and drag it down, here I see I'm pulling this one to the bottom and I just take that blue node and just bring it down here. So this is darkening the bottom a bit. And I can play with the opacity of that, turn that up a bit so, not, so it goes completely dark there. So this has just darkened the bottom of this again. Okay. So we've got darkened bottom, darkened top, nice sort of orange picture and so on. Um, now let's put in a uh, some curves and bring this up here. And what's this going to do? Brighten up the, that little bit and put a little bit of bring it down here, so a little bit of contrast into it. Here we go. It doesn't need much of a tweak, it has a big effect, doesn't it? Anyway, so there we go. That's a, a very qu quick show the number of things you can do. We could possibly play with the light here. We put in more light beams and things. So I'm just going to go to all of this and click on that before and that afterwards. That before that afterwards. Let's click on here to get rid of all those dots. So we've taken an ordinary sort of picture, looked a bit blur, and quite quickly turned it into rather a nice sunrise. Hope you like that one, and thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.